Digital Extremes is a wonderful company. A group rooted in philanthropy, nose always to the grindstone, shaking up the social norm expected of game companies similar to them, which makes me wonder all the more who the 500 IQ scholar was that thought the Amphis was in need of a bundle. I would not blame you for forgetting what the Amphis is. I mean... Look at it. Looks like something the Worm Queen pleasures herself with in her off time. But with a new coat of paint and some absurdly powerful melee mods releasing over the past couple years, how does this Grenier Prova weigh in? And the crowd goes mild! It just lacks any sort of supplementals. No crit, no status, primarily impact. This thing practically screams, please make me into crafting fodder for a better weapon. But it's okay, it has attack speed. The new gun modeled after the Amphis is the Quats, a full auto status pistol that swaps to a crit burst pistol if you aim down sights. I've had this thing for a couple weeks, but I haven't really had the time to play with it much or make a video until now. Really making use of that day one program, the base damage, albeit underwhelming, is carried hard by a decent crit multiplier and status chance based on what firing mode you're in. Stripping armor or stacking slash hardcore in auto and swapping for a burst for those heavy crits to finish targets feels pretty damn nice. Nothing really meta shifting, but not every weapon needs to be the Tenora. I give this one three cooked salmon out of four. Also, if you run out of ammo in your clip, your reload does this. <laughs> the Galvanic Armor Set is definitely an armor set. It's a bunch of asymmetrical, lumpy, mechanical space tumors stapled to your body. If you like the Grenier aesthetic, then go for it, but I feel like the Saturn 6 armor does a hell of a lot better of a job and is a lot less busy. But the Siandana? Perfection. It's just what I needed in my life. More dildos. 